Another, another uh, great feature of this environment in terms of uh, creative problem solving, in terms of creativity and innovation, is that we just don't ideate, or we don't bring novelty just through words or language, but also, let's say, through visual um, mediums. And that may, that may include drawing, pictures, etc. So I'm going to just go into an empty map here, and I'm just going to show you a little bit of the capabilities of this. So I can integrate other software here, like I have this little, like, um, uh, sketch pad, and then I could let's say I just want to. I'm just going to doodle something, uh, a little drawing here. So I'm going to do this. Uh, uh, I'm going to change the color here. No, not, not that, that's some blue here, and then I'm going to do some free, some free form. I'm going to do just a, a little smiley face, for example. But then what I can do with this? How do I integrate this drawing into my my, my work canvas? I just is it just a, a drag and drop? So it's very intuitive. So there I have it, and then what I can do with this, just let me uh, put it a little bit uh, smaller for you, so I'm going to drag it to the quick, but then what I can do with this, I can start drawing meaning, so I can start drawing annotations, and, then another, another, and I can just, so more layers of information, more analysis, so let's say we are, and so how does this fit into the creative problem solving, let's say we are, um, we are working on the new design for a new packaging, then when people can just start drawing their ideas and posting them to this digital canvas, okay, and start a discussion in terms of what's the best packaging, the features, etc. And it's not only drawing, let, let me bring just this little pad again, and I can just, I'm going to wipe it off, and then it also, we also have the capability of working with pictures and integrating pictures into the map, so let me just bring one picture here, which, uh, let's bring this picture for the sake of example, so I'm just going to double click. So then I have it here, but more than that, I, I can, let's say I, I'm interested in like people noticing on this. So I can draw an arrow here, pointing so to a specific uh, area of interest of this picture, and then again, just drag it, and let's drop it here. So then I have my picture on the map, and then I can start working and adding layers of information. So then imagine this in terms of ethnographic work, in terms of what we're doing stages of gathering data, we're not just limited to interviews and words, but now we can go outside its pictures, its videos, and then bring everything to the map. This map also has, this software also has the capability of hooking up to the internet, so we can uh, hook up to Wikipedia resources and then immediate links to them. So this node could be linked to something on the web, so that at some point when we're analyzing the data, I could just double click on it and bring it um, and bring it to the map. So I hope that this gives the sense of how this digital medium really helps us overcome some of the, the constraints that we have with the analog medium. And, more, and one of the and one of the biggest advantages of this whole setup is that it's digital. That means that once we're over with our session, it's very easy to export our work into PDFs and then just distribute it. And that's and that's really a time saver. Now all of this is great and. Uh, but of course we have some limitations. And the purpose of this whole video, and the first time I'm sharing this with you is because I'm seeking collaboration in terms of developers, in terms of uh, collaborators, and in terms of people that have access to funding so that I can develop further this software with the, with the, with the Tufts University. Uh, because right now it is great, but it has some limitations that I'm gonna address right now. Uh, the first limitation is that when we're thinking about creative problem solving, this is meant to be a group technique. So how is it that we bring, what might be all the ways in which people can be working, multiple people or a group of people can be working on the same canvas at the same time? That means real-time collaboration, whether it's that everybody's in the room or we're located uh, or in terms of remote collaboration. But let's think uh, of real-time collaboration. That means that everybody can input these little notes. I'm gonna just, everybody can input notes into the same map. Right now, unfortunately, uh, Vue is not catered to this functionality, but it would be great that this could be, a, in some, some way, a collaboration software, an e-collaborative software in which multiple users can be inputting their ideas simultaneously into the map, and then as a facilitator, what you do is you organize information, you supervise the process, provide the cognitive tools to stimulate more ideation. So that's one of the first constraints. We need real-time collaboration. The second uh, constraint is that uh, once it's the uh, when one thing is generating ideas, but then it's making meaning out of it, and then taking this, uh, making decisions. 
out of this. But for that, you need uh, people working with this and manipulating, as I was telling you, making groups and making meaning out of it. So it would be great if I could, if I could have uh, multiple people working in the same workspace. That means multi-touch input capability. And right now, there's a lot of work being done in terms of multi-touch interfaces. Uh, the work of Jeff Han at NYU and, and other collaborators and other people around the world working in multi-touch interface. So what we need actually is software that, that handles, that is capable of multi-touch multi -touch input. It would be great if view of this conceptual mapping software allowed for multi-touch input. Actually, the Wii Remote Hack, the Wii Remote Controller, can accept, can accept up to four points of input. So there could be somebody else here with me with another LED pen. And we could, I could be working here while he's working here with another set of data. Maybe then he organizes the data in some way. I organize the data in another way and then we can compare how is it that we are organizing the data and draw more meaning out of it. So again, multi-touch input capability for the software. Something that would be great also, and it's because uh, most of us, whether it's uh, we're in an educational uh, setting or business setting, we all work with spreadsheets, either if it's Excel, Microsoft Excel, or Google Docs, or whatever. So it would be great also if we could have a functionality for the software in which we could import cells as individual nodes. That means that one cell, one node. And finally, um, uh, there's some minor uh, issues in terms of formatting the nodes, etc. But uh, those are the three limitations. The one, so uh, let me review them. One, it's um, real-time collaboration, multiple people working in the same space at the same time on the same map, multi-touch interface uh, capability input, and third, um, the third constraint is uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet uh, import capabilities. And this is, uh, I hope that this uh, gave you a, is a, a rough idea of how is that this, how is that incorporating this, the, the interactive workspace and this software um, can really take creative problem solving or any, any framework, conceptual framework that we use to innovate to the next level. So this is a call for collaborators, for developers, and for people that have access to funding so to help us develop this software and the hardware so that we can meet the demands of the creative problem solving framework for the next generation and for next um, to fuel more innovation. Well, thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little demo and really see the value in enhancing a process such as a creative problem solving process with this new digital technology in order to make um, innovation to a, a more efficient process, whether it's education, it's business for profit, it's non-profit. And also I would like to share a little bit of my vision in terms of where I see this going in the next years. And it's, it's not just only the interactive workspaces and the conceptual mapping and the e-collaboration, but it's, it's also taken it to a next level, like with the gadgets such as the iPhone, and in, in terms of the, the rich user interface and visual capabilities, why not have a view version that will run on the iPhone and it's capable of communicating with a conceptual map such as this one. And more than that uh, would be to take uh, the, this, this environment into, into virtual worlds. The, the, the future of the internet right now is the 3D internet, it's the second life take the road for this and I'm developing a project and I'm going to give you a brief visual of it uh, at the International Center for Science and Creativity of Second Life. That's where you can see our Second Life facilities and wouldn't it be great if uh, we could have the same sort of environment, the same view environment so that we could collaborate within Second Life. We could have this, this idea management system so that we, can, we could recruit talent all over the world Let's say I have an expert in Japan, another in UK, another one in South America, and we could all meet at Second Life and then discuss potential innovation and use the view kind of interface within Second Life, embedded in Second Life, to drive our innovation processes. So again, I just want to make, again, extend uh, my plea for uh, collaboration. I invite developers and then anyone that has access to funding to contact me in order to drive this project 
even further, okay? Thank you very much and enjoy.